Geneva Summit for Human Rights, Intolerance and Democracy. There were children at the time of the genocide who did not know that there were Tutsi. You can't see it when you look at people that there are. People um, asked the killers not to do what they came to do, but you cannot get rid of what you are. People are asking how long we will be waiting like this. I have no answer. Really, I have no answer for them. In our country, the people cannot uh, do anything. When we talk about the university, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, you know, like almost all of the articles are not allowed. The standards of human rights in Libya means not to open your mouth against, against the dictator or his regime. Libya to be the chairman of Human Rights Committee in the United Nations. Shame on you, Libya. In front of me, they beat up people who were my friends, young girls who were my friends, and they also threatened these girls with rape. They forced me to remain awake for hours on end. They tied my hands to a chair and they kept me awake. Eventually I lost consciousness and then they cut me and put salt in the wound so that I would wake up from the pain. This freedom of expression is such a human thing. It's such a human thing that we all want to do. Um, but that, unfortunately, uh, uh, in many countries, particularly authoritarian countries, uh, young people do not get the freedom to. And this is, this is, this is really sad because people, if we, if I'm sitting here and I and I and I listen to all these people, and what I what I taste is 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 oxygen. We can breathe freely, and it feels so wonderfully. It tastes so wonderfully to just be here, speak out, and feel free to do so. So between the autocrats and the theocrats, we, the human rights defenders, we, the genuine democrats, have to stand together. With these words, I'd like to thank you again, and long live freedom. Thank you.